Have you noticed the Keystone Cops on Pier Street Garda Station? You might not have seen them, but we'll guess that they've been keeping a close watch on you. The purported heads of four members of the since disbanded Dublin Metropolitan Police are carved into the building, with two facing Pier Street and further up two more with their eyes on College Green. They are believed to denote the different entrances to the station, the flat cap wearing higher ranking officers outside the now closed wooden door and the constables wearing the bobby custodian helmets above the main entrance. Built in the shadow of the 1913 lockout and just ahead of the 1916 Easter Rising, the struggle for independence meant that the new police station, which was built in 1915, was only under British administrative control for seven years. Under the terms of the Anglo-Irish Treaty, the Royal Irish Constabulary was replaced by Angarda Síochána in 1923. The Dublin Metropolitan Police was then amalgamated with the Gardaí in 1925 to form one police force. Due to the financial constraints of the newly independent state, many of the uniforms seen on the granite bus would have remained in use up until the 1940s, with the badges of some uniforms simply being replaced. Created by Ringsend-based stonemason Harry Thompson, who used Wicklow granite to create the highly detailed sculptures, the building was Scottish baronial or 19th century Gothic revival in style. And indeed, heads aside, this building wouldn't look out of place in the centre of Glasgow or any other UK city. Know anything else about these architectural quirks? Shout below.